Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you have come across my channel, welcome. Come on in. I just need you to know you did not get here accidentally and or coincidentally. There are no accidents and or coincidences. If you're living your life on purpose, really following your purpose, really walking in your destiny, really aligned with your higher self by way of the creator of all things, then there's a 99.9% .9 chance that, baby, you made it here right on time. Whatever time is for you, right? Sometimes, you know, we feel time less, age less, death less. If you get it, then you do. If you don't, then you won't. If you can, then you can. If you can't, then you absolutely cannot. Listen, whatever you decide to do coming into the reading, my recommendation is that you come in with your gift of intuition and or discernment. Taking the information that resonates with you is a wise thing to do. It is a spiritual disclaimer. Watch out for people in the comments, though, that are pretending to be me. If my name is not highlighted in gray, it ain't me. I'm very active in my comments, though, just so you know. So if you like the vibe, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. I do have spiritual bars. No, you're not hallucinating. No, you're not imagining things. <laughs> that absolutely did rhyme, okay? Come on in here. Let's... uh spend a little time together and have a conversation about what it is that brought you to this video your intuition and your discernment that's a gift you know you should really be grateful for that that physical intuitive nudge that intuition and or discernment letting you know that your moral compass is on point and that you are connected to the creator be obedient in listening to that that's just a recommendation you know why because i'm just the messenger yeah, I'm one of the ones that's kind of written in the prophecy where it says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. So even if you don't like me, even if something here triggers you, that has nothing to do with me. I need you to go and I need you to take that up with the most high. Hopefully you come in love and light because I come in peace, love and light. I promise you I do. Welcome to what we call spiritual court. Spiritual court is a place where things are under spiritual introspection, inspection, investigation, and things are just exposed for reasons that just need to be exposed, honey. The intros are really long, so if you're looking for somebody to tickle your ears and just start out with a, you know, random ass intro, this is not the place, okay? Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. Why not? Let's walk in the truth, okay? Well, listen, whatever you decide to do here, be that good, bad, or indifferent, I support you in the energy because the universe is universally supporting all of us in the energy. Happy full moon. Whatever you're doing with this eclipse, just know that it is being recorded. If you're doing a death spell over somebody that is chosen, you will die. It's really just that simple. This is where the universe is. It's so fair. It's so blunt. It's so straight to the point. We are of love and light, though. Welcome. Stand up, sit down, whatever you feel you need to do. But if you're returning back, to the channel mm -hmm. back 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 to my channel listen nine times out of ten it's a hundred percent chance that a whole bunch of y'all are my soul tribe family a lot of you are lovers as opposed to haters and for that i am eternally grateful you already know when the intro gets this long <laughs> Spirit gave me a serious download. Don't mind me. I'm just telling the cards what to do by way of prophesying what it is that we need to do. Listen, we dedicate our entire selves to the creator of all things to whom all praises do. Absolutely second to nothing in creation. I just heard the devil's been defeated. Okay, under the full moon, under the full moon. Listen, nothing that they're doing is working. Nothing that they've done has gone unnoticed. By the creator of all things, the most high said, I ain't skipped a beat. I'm still omnipresent. I'm still the great I am. And you are my chosen ones. And the prophecy that says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. It's absolutely just 2024's vibe. It's standing on spiritual business. Newcomers, in case you've not noticed, my shuffle game is on deck. At least according to me. That's what I like to tell myself. 
because it just kind of helps me like be in spiritual court. <laughs> that's just a part of my, uh, it's a part of things I like to tell myself, okay, to help me get through all of the monotony and or the bullshit in spiritual court. Listen, I call upon my beautiful soul tribe to come in here with me, bring your intuition, your higher self. Shout out to all my beautiful fellow sisters, my beautiful Muslimas, my beautiful people all over the world. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Peace be with you. Namaste. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. So tribe. So tribe. So tribe. So tribe. Ooh. I love you. So tribe. So tribe. So tribe. Time to fly. <laughs> fly. My beautiful soul tribe, I love you so much, my beautiful soul tribe, time to fly, mm. fly so high, my love you you know i do maybe that was my note you know what i mean maybe it wasn't but one thing i can tell you let the creator call judgment down on me and the truth is the truth i tell you no lies that came from the bottom of my soul to the top of my crown to the soles of my feet listen all my chakras are aligned come on in here and get the spiritual work so let me just tell you what i heard shout out to gabriel we are the leaders. They don't like it. They ain't got to. Tell them to take it up with our Abba. We paid our dues. Some of us paid in blood, sweat, and tears, I just heard the ancestors say. So I heard these people started a game, started to play around with us, and they don't know how to finish this game. They couldn't afford to play this game, y'all. Somebody played a game they could not afford to play. Let's get it right. Come through, Holy Spirit. Divine ancestors, honorable ancestors, thank you for your sacrifice. May we make you proud. May the ancestors always be pleased with our investment in the earth as we are just simply passing through in time. Yeah, listen. Ooh, they don't want us to say this, whoever they is. <clears throat> Give me a minute, y'all. They're angry. These people played a game that they cannot afford to play. They can't afford to pay. They're paying with their soul. They're paying with their lineage. Show me what it is. Archangel Michael, whoop ass towards anybody trying to send me any dark energy. I am one of the chosen ones. I am one of the ones that the Most High sent as a messenger. Anybody trying to shoot me. Listen, they're only self-sabotaging. It's a self-sacrificing energy. I can't make it up. You see that seven of wands? We're so divinely protected that you got people in high places, okay? Terrified, honey. Shook. Shaking in their damn boots. In their karmic ass boots, okay? These are people that consider themselves to be the higher ups. Okay? Not higher than God. Like, what? That don't make no sense. Ooh, we. I'm passing energy. Show me what I need to see. Try to play a game, baby. Okay, stop playing with our children. Page of Pentacles, children with gifts. Surprise, we're the children with the gifts and we've healed. We've healed from your immunizations. We've healed from all the shit you put in the atmosphere. You know, they were spraying stuff in the air and then we transmuted that. 
they don't know how we're doing it. They don't know how we're pulling from the copper, the natural copper is what I just heard in our bodies, negating and or backing and or blocking the radiation, how the stars are helping us to transmute. Literally, we have supernatural stars that are helping us to transmute this energy. Wow, this is beautiful. Show me these people tried to play a game with us. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I said, mm -mm. Spirit says this is coming up upside down. Four of Swords is burned out. Stressed out, tried to play a game and don't know what they're doing. We're playing spades, baby, and they're playing dominoes. We're just not the same. <laughs> We're not of the same lineage. We're not of the same cloth. Again, playing a game that they could not have afforded to start and or play and now they can't pay for what it is that they've started. The Most High says they'll pay with blood. Damn. They don't believe it. Pay attention to the news. You're going to start to hear about those natural catastrophes that we talked about. Weird stuff, right? Y'all heard about Baltimore. You heard about Diddy. There's more coming. Just pay attention. This thing about, uh, you know, these aliens walking the earth and all of that. They're just preparing you uh, and trying to uh, distract you at the same time. So don't get distracted. You know, the gift of discernment is very powerful. Remember, anything that you give your attention to, you give it power. Okay. The aliens, we've always been here. Yes, I said we. Listen, six of wands. We ain't from here. It's a victory. These people wanted to win at all costs. Again, playing a game that they could not have afforded to start. Okay, their voodoo is not working. Whatever it is that they're doing. You got people that are tracking our energy. Okay, they too are under judgment. Temperance is here. Archangel Michael said, I don't think so. This is a whole bunch of war angels. Archangel Michael is leading this battle. Why am I feeling this feeling? What is this discernment that I'm feeling? What is it that the angels want me to say? Holy Spirit. They want your power. Okay. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be real significant. Heavy on the Sagittarius energy. Something about fire energy. Okay. Something about fire. Clarify that temperance and that Queen of Wands. Why am I feeling that energy? The moon. Somebody's a secret hidden enemy. You still got stupid ass enemies. Do you hear me? With all this judgment coming down, with them seeing the signs and the synchronicities, noticing that you are not going to go down, noticing that this shit ain't working. 1244, when I just said that, they're still, still, do you understand me? Doing some type of moon magic, some type of voodoo, some type of hoodoo, some type of crew do, okay? And now their life is doo-doo. Listen, two of swords, yes, that rhymed newcomers. I do have spiritual bars occasionally when the Holy Spirit takes over, okay? Two of swords, they're trying to blind you still, stupid, dumb, dumb, da da dumb, da dumb, dumb, da dumb. Ooh, I never seen so many hard-headed, stiff-neck-ass people coming for profits, you know? The moon, queen of wands, temperance, Sagittarius energy. So somebody's still in your energy. This could be a group of people, though. I don't feel like this is one person in particular. Take what resonates. You intuitively know the fact that you don't give a damn really pisses these people off. So somebody wants to irritate hate you somebody's getting irritated over the fact that you're not irritated somebody's getting pissed off over the fact that you're not pissed off somebody's bothered over the fact that you are unbothered okay show me this people started a game that they cannot afford to play and now the game is over <laughs> ace of cups is divine intervention it's like they don't believe that the most high sees all and knows all that's dangerous. How are you not going to believe in the creator that created your wicked ass? Ooh, wee. A lot of death rituals, a lot of scorpionic energy underneath this full moon. Somebody's birthday could be in November. Somebody's in November. Somebody's a secret ass, hating ass enemy. Mm -hmm. You got some Sagittarius energy here, Leo, Aries. Okay, but I'm getting November Scorpio. There's a November Scorpio that's wicked as shit. Still out here doing moon magic. Okay. Possibly to an Aquarius. I just heard that clear audiently. This is not representing anything that I'm seeing here in the cards right now currently. Just so you know, 
There's also a March Aries Pisces that is doing moon magic. Okay. Possibly over an Aquarius. Okay. A Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Okay. So all the water signs are here. Somebody is like, it's a whole bunch of water signs doing some dark ass magic. Seven of Cups to paint some type of an illusion. Eight of Cups, they're being forced to walk away. Heavy on the Piscean energy. Okay, as we go more into this Aries energy of fire, there's going to be war. Two of Cups, these are fake ass friends. Strength, they want your power. If they could just get a little bit of your power, they just feel they could do something. Somebody was doing heart magic, death spells over your heart, okay? To block your heart, heart attack. Somebody was paid to do it, to make a wish under this moon. Now these people are looking crazy. Five of Cups. Somebody's going to pass away from doing this magic. The tower is here. Scorpionic energy is here. Could be a November Scorpio. Somebody's blinded. They don't see it coming. Okay? Because they're stupid. High Priestess, you feel it, you know. There is also a Pisces, okay, that feels trapped. Somebody feels bound to what they've done. But here's the thing. They're still doing it. They won't stop. Seven of Pentacles. This is something that they did in the past that's coming back to haunt them. Seven of Swords, Sneaky and Deceptive. They collaborated with two other people, possibly a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Okay. Myot is here. Libra and Energy. Let's get into it. Let's just clarify what it is. I just felt intuitively. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Show me what it is I need to see by way of the energy that I just channeled. That just came straight up out the ethers, y'all. Clarify this energy. These people started a game that they cannot afford to play because the game is over. I cannot make it up. Ten of Swords. This is somebody close to you. Could be family members. Could be friends. Both my ears are ringing. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Could be a Gemini involved as well. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Somebody was paid to do this. So somebody got really close to you. Somebody was paid. Clarify that six of pentacles. Why is that there, Holy Spirit? King of swords. Yeah, somebody was paid to do this. Air sign. Gemini was paid. I said Gemini. King of swords. I'm getting Gemini. Could be a Libra. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a combination of the two. Clarify this. King of swords. Yeah, two of swords. This person thought that they were cloaked and now they're uncloaked because the Most High is saying, it's your turn now. Somebody is up. You're up next for judgment. Somebody's sitting in a state of confusion. They don't know whether to continue doing this moon magic or to leave it alone. Spirit says, let them make their own decision by way of free will. You can't be touched. Somebody's in disbelief of who you are. Somebody's in disbelief that you're the chosen one. Somebody's still in that weird ass, you know, competitive ass energy like what why her why him okay because like you're asking god why are you god why are you the creator like what are you talking about this is the problem people are too preoccupied with who you are jealousy is really what's taking these people out it's consuming them clarify this two of swords and this king of swords somebody thought that they were cloaked you're going to be receiving some type of communication about this person Okay, eight of swords are getting some type of news. Something about somebody's heart. Somebody could be going down. Clarify this uh, three of swords. There's some type of breakup amongst a group. Okay. You could get some information. Hmm. Clarify the three of swords. What am I seeing? What am I feeling? Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael. Yeah. You're going to get some information about somebody. Okay. Somebody's in mental distress. Somebody cannot sleep. Somebody could have dark circles under their eyes. Somebody's very restless. Somebody's like hopeless. They're just, they're crying out for help, but they just feel like they're suffering in silence. Three of swords. Somebody in this group that teamed up with somebody else is watching somebody suffer. Whoever this King of Swords is, they could be in a wheelchair, I just heard, or somebody doesn't have any legs. Ghana, I just heard Ghana. Somebody could be from Ghana, this worker. It's a really dark man. 
He looks Haitian to me, though, but I don't want to be, you know, culturally prejudiced is what I'm seeing in my visual. Mm, interesting. Show me this person. This is like the head honcho. This is the guy. He makes it happen. Oh, we the ace of swords is coming out. Conspiracy says what I'm saying is the damn truth. So please be prepared for the truth. Listen, let's just have a little commercial break. Mm hmm. On Judgment Day, they thought it was a game. Speaking ill over your name. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, when the Ace of Swords comes out, Spirit is saying, have a seat, stand up, sit down, whatever you need to do. You need to be prepared for the truth. Maybe you need to prepare your mind, your body, and your soul. Whatever it is that you need to do. The Ace of Swords is saying the truth and the whole truth is coming out. This is from the heavens as I channel this energy direct from Source. When that Ace of Swords comes out, that Source saying, are you ready? Somebody's like, tell me the truth. And listen, can you handle the truth? Do you need to go? Do you need to pray? Do you need to meditate? Do you need to talk to your higher self? Do you need some water? Do you need to eat first? Do you need to make sure that your enzymes are enzyming? <laughs> do you need to make sure you got enough vitamin D to handle the message? Did you take your vitamin C? Did you take your iron today? Listen, you got to be ready for this type of truth. Show me this person. Oh, he's a big one. This is a big leader. Oh, show me this person with no legs, okay? This person, let me tell you something about this man, y'all. I'm getting Ghana. I'm getting... He might be Nigerian. I don't know. He black as hell. Let's just be honest. He's as black as black, 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 cold black. This person don't have no legs. He's he's like, this is somebody that gets on the floor and does their magic. He has like a penis statue or God or something that he channels. This could be some type of sex demon, whatever this is. This person is crazy a lot of people go to this person this is why people are going to be in the nine of swords about this person three of swords something could happen to this person They're, they could be getting communication that this person passed away he's a cloaker okay this person has no bottom i don't know what this is i'm seeing somebody that with no legs okay doing work some type of some type of ritual with a penis candle statue. I don't know what this is. People go to him uh, to do some type of sex work or whatever this is. He's the kind of person that he channels a lot of his frustration into this work because he is impotent. He's angry. He's got a lot of dark energy because he wants to be with a woman, but he can't. So he does something by way of channeling energy, body jumping, where he can kind of be through other men or have sex through them. This is somebody that don't have no legs and the bottom half don't work. I just heard was and is. Somebody's getting news that this person has passed away or is passing away. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. Clarify this man. Who is this person? Somebody's birthday could be in January. Somebody's birthday is in September. I'm getting January and September. Could be a Capricorn significance. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Or a Gemini. Somebody's birthday could be in May. Mm, they want to apologize. Somebody thought it was a joke. Somebody really thought the remnant and or the 144,000 by way of being chosen was a joke. Somebody put all their faith in this King of Swords. Wherever this queen of pentacles is, this is her guy. 
This is who she goes to for all her work. She's going to get news that something happened to this person. Something backfired by way of magic. Okay. I just heard play the game. They couldn't afford to pay or play. Or maybe somebody couldn't afford to pay this person. Somebody's all out of luck or something about paying six of pentacles and playing a game they could not have afforded to play game over. The universe just keeps saying game over. Look, I can't make it up. Seven of swords. Hold on, y'all. Seven of swords. Clarify. Somebody's about to get some news. I can't make it up. Eight of Pentacles, this person is a real crazy ass worker. When I say somebody is so frustrated, this man channels a lot of dark energy. He's angry. However, he lost his legs. I feel like it's some type of karma. He's always been a dark worker. This person could have had women, whatever this is. They can't pleasure a woman and be with a woman. So they take all that dark energy when people come to them and pay them to do work and they channel it into love relationships, a lot of breakup spells, a lot of heart attack, a lot of taking beauty, uh, abusing women. He always adds his own energy somehow. He always imagines himself being the man to these women so that he he does like some type of transfer of, of, of spirit or body jumping or he feels like he can feel sex through these men but this is somebody with a whole bunch of power or they were i don't know what this is somebody's about to get some bad news eight of wands somebody could be communicating to this queen of pentacles that this person is no longer king of swords this person's a cold ass worker though when I say they work day and night, somebody's got a whole bunch of pent-up testosterone, no outlet. This person could have a colostomy bag, or they did. Five of Swords, they do conflict spells, okay? Chaos magic, breakup spells, uh, confusion spells. They love confusion, cloaking, sending people in circles, you know, uh, so people can't see what's going on. This is what this person specializes in. The Queen of Pentacles and his King of Swords, this is her person. This person thought they were Big Billy Badass playing this game, honey. Game over. Show me the situation. Why is that Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, and Eight of Wands there? Queen of Swords. I cannot make it up. This was somebody's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords to the uh, <laughs> Five of Wands, honey. There's conflict amongst these people. There's fighting. Why is the five of wands there with this king of swords and this queen of swords, queen of pentacles? Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When the truth comes out before the cards, it's always, no matter how long I've had this gift, even since this life as a child, I always still am like in awe of how the creator of all things, like even now I'm just like, this is exactly what I just said. It just came out. Confirmation. Listen, I can't make this up. And even if I do, it's under judgment. That's what people don't understand. Stop fucking with the divine beings. Ace of Swords, I'm obligated. My obligation to the creator of all things is to come and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. As I see it, as I'm allowed to see it, there are some things that the creator don't want me to see. So I don't open that door. I'm obedient to that. Okay. The most I like, no, nah, don't go over there. I'm like, all right, cool. I don't ever be like, well, why? Well, what? Uh -huh. no, because at the end of the day, the creator is so gracious. The most high always shows us the why anyway, even if it's not in that moment, he, he shows you. Hey, look, that rejection over there. No, nah, that was for your protection. Don't worry about that. He like, oh, that's why I didn't work out with what's his name. Oh, that's why I didn't work out with what's her name. Oh, that's why I lost the baby. Okay, listen, this goes deep. Stop playing. Most I said, what brings me glory? What, what, what is, what's bringing me, you know, uh, pleasure by way of my will in the earth? You might not even understand yet, but just follow me. Keep your mind on me. And I'm going to show you something. I'll keep you in perfect peace no matter what. My left eye is twitching. You still got people right now trying to hex and curse. You better sit your punk ass down. Somebody's trying to hex and curse 
right now as we speak. Ooh, you got to be controlled by the devil. And this time, and this hour, final judgment, harsh judgment, somebody got the nerve to be trying to astral project over this reading right now? Ooh, child, you know you crazy. Listen, nevertheless, let's just confirm it. That was an impromptu commercial break. Newcomers, congratulations. If you've been here longer than this time, are you still here? You just survived your first commercial break. Some of these people want to hit the commercial breaks in life, honey. They want to hit the breaks on life, but life is still on and life is still life and God is still guiding. Somebody played around. Let me tell you something. Whoever these people are, okay, they're getting news. Five of wands, they're fighting. They're angry. They're sad. Why? Because the head honcho is done. Whoever this guy is in this wheelchair with no legs or he's on the floor, he don't need to sit in a chair. It's like somebody that he's real arrogant. He's real angry. He's real, you know, he jumps out of his chair and jumps on the floor, walks on his nubs or whatever this is. It's what I'm seeing, y'all. I'm not even trying to be funny right now. I'm going to be honest. I know sometimes I say stuff and it's funny, but this person is angry. They're angry at life. They just, they went through something. Whoever this King of Swords is, he went through something in life. And he just dedicated himself to the devil. He was so mad at God that he just he just went into hiding. All he does is dark work. This is somebody that was very, very powerful and high rank, working with a lot of deities. Even though he could never walk again, have his legs again, whatever this is with all this money, he dedicated himself to the darkness, conflict. He, he, he dedicated himself to the devil, period. This man is passing away or he has passed away or somebody's going to get this news. Something's real significant about the next five days, five of wands, five of cups, the next three days. It's just death comes in threes. I just heard it's three people here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Somebody's about to get some towers and the towers are coming in threes. Who I just heard the Holy Trinity. Ooh, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Knight of Wands, whoever this person was, this person was doing a lot of sex magic. Whatever this is, this little penis god or statue, I see somebody like working with something. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell that is. Some type of board is what I'm seeing. Some type of nails, binding, sex binding, sex spells, conflict, vaginal. Uh, this person was doing vaginal magic over people's vaginals. Like uh, putting it to where, you know, if you broke up with a man, you can't have pleasure outside of him. Oh, yeah, he's a wicked dog. This person was taking libidos, okay? Thrusting women into menopause sooner than later. Listen, five of swords, this is a wicked bastard. Five, 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 I cannot make it up. I'm being guided to take that five, and so I will be obedient. Everything that these people did in the past is coming back to haunt them. That's why they're in the nine of swords, not a wands, okay? Yeah, this is what I'm picking up. This person does beauty spells for masculines, okay? Okay? So that women see them as handsome or you look at them and you're like, oh my God, I'm so attracted to him. When that spell wears off, you're like, ugh, I would have never talked like that type of an energy. Like, what the hell was I thinking? Somebody could look like an animal. You could be looking at them like, mm -mm, what the hell? What the hell? No, 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 no. The spells have been broken. Somebody's about to get news that this person is done. Whatever this person did under this moon, this eclipse, it's over. It's over. Death comes in threes, I just heard. Nine of swords. Somebody's going to be having dreams about it. The most high is smoting and or um, giving somebody a reprobate mind, I just heard. Showing them the destiny of these people that they collaborated with against a chosen one. Or the chosen ones, yeah. Nine of pentacles. Slow moving energy. These are, listen, two. <laughs> Five of swords, five of cups, five of wands to the nine of pentacles is a slow moving energy. This represents the fruits of their labor, be it good, bad, or indifferent. Good prayers, bad prayers, life, death. Whatever you spoke out of your mouth is what it is that you're getting back. The fruits of your labor, so shall you reap. Ooh, we show me game over karma. This person attacked a lot of twin flame unions, a lot of men that should not have been with women were bound to these men or however. It's a lot of knight of wands. This man is all for the men. He don't really like women. He can't stand women. However, he had a queen of pentacles and a queen of swords who were karmic ass women that he worked with directly. As much as he is very misogynistic or was, I keep getting was, spirit is saying, 
was. He's done. He's passed away. Somebody's going to get the news and freak out. Yeah, somebody's going to get the news and freak the hell out. Listen, as much as he works with this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Swords, they hate women too. They're not their sister's keeper. These are not real queens. Real queens don't get caught up in a tiny space of jealousy and competition trying to win at all costs. They're too busy adjusting their crown. They're too busy sitting in a proper posture by way of decency and what is in order. Jealousy is a horrible thing to be addicted to. It's a bad thing. And so the hell is testosterone. Testosterone is a hell of a drug. <laughs> There's a lot of men with penises that's not about to work. They were doing some real heavy magic, y'all. Four of Wands. These are men that were somehow changing energy so that you would see them as your person, as your twin, okay? Uh, something about your libido. This man got underwear. This man has uh, uh, menstrual blood. These men were taking this man just crazy stuff under this moon to control women, to take their beauty. Yeah, man, I don't want her to be beautiful. I don't want another man to want her. She try to go be with somebody else. She can only get pleasure from me. This is the type of dark ass work this King of Swords was doing. Now his ass is no more. So what do you think happens to the work that he's done in the past? What do you think happens to that? What do you think happens to the people that are still alive? It's a domino effect. I just heard death comes in threes. And death could be coming in threes three times. What's that? Nine? Three times three is nine? Okay. Nine of swords? All right. Show me what I need to see. Nine of pentacles? Okay. Y'all thought it was a game. King of pentacles. King of cups. Look. <laughs> I cannot make it up. Something about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer. Whatever this is. These are men, y'all. Very prestigious very, very prestigious man with a lot of money that go to this person. Spirit keeps telling me to speak about this King of Swords because he has dealt with businessmen, millionaires, billionaires. Ooh, he don't care. He's by referral only, I just heard. Mm -hmm. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, their father, their uncle, their grandfather, could be a mason and refer to this person. So some rinky dink ass, non-vital, non-essential, not validating his existence while in the earth as Knight of Wands was able to get access to this King of Swords who only caters to men with money. King of Cups, baby. This person in arranged marriages, four of wands, changed destinies, uh, put women in confusion so that they think this is their person. These men were married to these women, bound to them. Uh, with the woman thinking, oh my God, this is my person. It's a whole warlock who's working you, taking your, I just heard your underwear, all kinds of weird stuff. Okay. Yeah. This person is wicked. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't make it up. The Empress in the reverse. Look, taking your fertility. A lot of them were taking your beauty so that they could be more handsome. Yeah. Men do beauty spells too. So that women would want them desirable. Somebody wanted to be desirable. Yeah, something to hold you up, something to hold up the divine feminine energy. If these men, oh, these were some wicked ass bastards, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. Death comes in threes. I'm gonna just be honest, times three. This is what Source is saying. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and it's Knight of Wands. Whatever it is, only type of wand that ain't out here is the King of Wands. It's a whole bunch of men here, though, with two bitter ass, bonny ass, karmic ass witches who don't like women. So these women... Well, these two right here are the only ones that he would deal with. Mm-hmm. These are the only two he would deal with. Two of pentacles. Two. He didn't like women. Very misogynistic. He's all for dominating a woman, abusing her, sucking her power dry, taking her beauty. He sees women as stupid. He's bitter. He's, he's heartbroken. So he wanted to break women's hearts. He deals with men to give them the victory. And then he in turn gets to reap the benefit of somehow vicariously living through them, feeling through him. He's binding himself to these men. And this is why they're bound to whatever the hell he's done. They're bound to karma together. Because even though they this person's done work for these men, he's binding himself to them so that he could be attached to their penis. His penis don't work. He ain't got no legs. Whatever the hell this is. Okay. Hmm. I can't make it up.
Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you. This man had a whole bunch of money. This person came from some type of divine ass woman. Somebody was a matriarch. Somebody came across one of the 144,000, one of the chosen, and she was the catalyst. She was the straw that broke the camel's back. Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the creator. And somebody was real comfortable in doing this work against divine feminine women. Some of them have killed women. Some of these women didn't feel beautiful. All of a sudden, their beauty started to fade. And he seemed like he getting more handsome. And you want to stay home. And you stand in the bed. He's like, well, come on, let's go. You like stand in the bed sick. Like these men are siphoning power straight up out the solar plex. This is why you cannot have sex with everybody. It is a ritual. Okay. Yeah. Every man, for the most part, wants to return to the womb. They're still trying to attach themselves to you. Somebody's still trying to attach themselves to you and mad about it, honey. Ace of Pentacles. You're a gift. This is giving me earth angel energy, divine feminine energy. You saw it coming. You saw something and you blew the whistle. You saw something coming and you blew the whistle on somebody's ass. You sure did. You told the most high, oh, hell no. Somebody been doing this for years. This is a very powerful person, or they were. Power, strength. Somebody hates your strength, hates your power. As above, so below, the number eight is there. Show me what else I need to see, please, and thank you. Somebody wants to know who I am telling the story, honey. They trying to balance out this energy. They don't know what to do because this man is either dying, about to die, Something significant about three days and five days. He's either dying, about to die, or he's already dead and they're getting the news. People could be reaching out to him. These are some prestigious ass men with a whole bunch of money. Very well known. Okay. A list of very popular celebrities that you'd be like, what? Yeah. We're not surprised. If you're, if you're awakened, if you're woke, then you already know. You can't go back to sleep when it comes to this world. Five of Pentacles. Okay. They're about to drop, like lose everything. Some of these men, not only were they paying this man, mostly for power, mostly for power over women, mostly for uh, the ability to cloak themselves in divine masculine energy. Uh, they wanted to be handsome, worshipped. Uh, there's like penis worship. Like they wanted women to worship their penis is what I'm getting. Ooh, -wee. five of pentacles. They're about to lose everything. Lord, have mercy. I just heard the past has come back to haunt them. Lord, I might have to do a part two on this dude. Let me just see this King of Swords. Who is this guy? Yeah, look, I can't make it up. As soon as I split the deck. Listen, stop playing with the divine beings. I just split the deck. Five of Cups is grief, funeral, sad, regret. What the hell is going on type of an energy? You know, trying to figure it out. Judgment. Don't you love when they get that, you know, spiritual amnesia? And the Most High is like, what have you been doing? They're like, oh, we've just been going to and fro, abusing divine feminines, looking for feminine energy, siphoning their power and their energy and purposefully getting them pregnant so we could tie into their bloodline and their lineage. Some of these men were purposefully trying to be your twin and they weren't. Ooh, there was magic. There's some powerful ass magic though, I'm going to be honest. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, whoever you are, you saw right through it. Somebody just went about their business. Somebody been in business for 30 something years, honey, doing this. And everything that they've done is coming back to whoop that ass. This man is by referral only. These are fathers taking their sons, their nephews to this man. Okay. These are men raising other young men to be a certain way. Clarify this King of Swords. Clarify, rectify. Clarify and rectify. Listen, somebody's born in uh, January. Could be a Capricorn. Could be an Aquarius, King of Swords, or they just the devil. Or it's a combination of all of the above. <laughs> Listen, whole bunch of wands, honey. Whole bunch of wands, a whole bunch of sexually frustrated ass men. Spirit says these people are going to be impotent. Their penises are not going to work. They did so much penis magic, like to worship their penis, the penis worshipers, the penis gang gang, you know, like they wanted women to worship them, not have pleasure without them. Only their penis is the one. This is what they're asking for. They're paying this man some money. This man's working with some real powerful demons. Okay. 
Well, the demons that he was bound to are the ones that's taking his ass to hell with this tower of five of cups. He's a bitter man. He he loved the benefit of, of being with these women through these men. Yeah, this some Haitian voodoo, something. This person is, is like transferring his spirit to these men. You know, they're bound to the karma. They're bound by blood, bound to the work. He got a chance to sleep with very beautiful women. This is how this King of Swords sees it. But in, in reality, when he comes to reality, he's frustrated because that's only in his imagination, right? He bought his magic. He bought his power so that he could have the victory. Clarify this King of Swords. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, his man ain't hanging. His, his hangman ain't hanging, baby. <laughs> It's just hanging, honey, and it ain't doing nothing else. This person got stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Somebody was doing this for a long time, okay? I just heard his father's 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 father. Show me what I need to see. Page of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. They did magic over young children, okay? Siphoning young boys' energy. This is nothing that's new. Yeah, listen, this person had passed on, honey. The helping hand of the creator is here. Somebody came for a real divine feminine. I feel like whoever you are, you're the catalyst for judgment. You're walking, breathing karma. You brought some type of judgment down here that's so vital, so essential that you set a lot of divine feminines free. You absolutely did. Somebody's mad that I'm telling the story. What is that energy that I feel? What is that that I feel? Somebody's watching. Who is this person? Somebody feels, yeah, somebody's, yeah, listen. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? My discernment, thank you for the discernment. Somebody's trying to tap into my energy to see who the hell I am. These are real powerful people, politicians, ministers, pastors, uh, councilmen, law enforcement is what I'm hearing. Oh, this man got paid. This man got big money, long money, blood money. I just heard they're going to go from having everything to having absolutely nothing and living in squalor. And something about their penises are not going to work. It's going to put these men in a very like crazy state of um, frustration. Yeah, frustration. They're angry. They're mad. They're mad. Yeah. Nothing like a man that's sexually frustrated. They can't even jack off. You understand what I'm saying? Like not even trying to be funny, but this is how much sex magic they've done. Yeah, they collaborated. Three of Pentacles. You work together, you die together. You burn together, your penises don't work together. It's a dark ass connection here. What's going on in Ghana? Something's going on in Ghana. Yeah, look, they paid this man a whole bunch of money. What's going on in Ghana, spirit? Something's going on in Ghana. This person could be, is it something called Guyanese or something like that? Or what is this? Yeah, something's being exposed. Something about young boys. This man got desperate. Once they weren't able to siphon from these divine feminine, a lot of them have sacrificed their wives. Okay, a lot of them. Something's real significant about Kobe Bryant, I just heard. Okay. Whoever his wife is, girl, your ass is under judgment. Bye. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, boo. And I don't usually channel celebrities. I mean, I do, but I'm not a name dropper because I don't really give a damn. I just try to use my gift the way I need to use it. But when the Most High tells me to say something, I got to keep it a buck. Mm-hmm. Whatever her name is, she's a witch. She sacrificed her family. She's under judgment. Yeah, talking about, oh, this person died in a plane crash. Girl, if you don't sit your punk ass down and stop lying around here, listen, show me this uh, five of wands, this magician. Yeah, look, wanding. That's all they care about is sex. All of this is sex magic. Everything that they got, money, they get it from sex. They channel off of sexual energy to manifest money and the will of fortune. But now karma's here. Show me that black magic in the reverse. Did I just tell you? Did I not just say the will of fortune? Did I not just say the will of fortune? It's clarifying the will of fortune. Everything's done by way of sex and death. Death and sex. That's all these men care about. Once they're done with these women, these empresses, after they suck them dry, take their beauty, take their gifts, take their whatever. These are beautiful women, aesthetically. Okay? Personality-wise, whatever it is, they love to break these women down, honey. They want these women to worship their penis. That's why there's so many wands, nine of wands. Could be up to nine men. Yeah, something about death in threes. Three times three is nine. 
nine wands are dead already. They can't have sex. I just heard prostate cancer. It's going to be a lot of stuff that the multi is just going to smoke their body with. I'm not playing around here. Judgment. Judgment. They're mad at me right now. I feel somebody trying to tap in. My left eye is twitching. Who is this? Let's just expose it while we're here in spiritual court. Let's keep it above. Four of wands. Look. Fake ass twin flames. These are evil twin flames. These are men that were sent to protect the divine feminine energy that abused their power. Now you get to go into a real union with the real divine man. These are men who were taught by their father's 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 father. This is how you treat women. This is a secret like organization. Huge. When they get the news of this king of swords though getting taken under, Lord, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause some problems. And their penises ain't working either. Whatever the penis God is or whatever this is. Because I see somebody actually using like a penis or he's using his penis in the magic. This king of swords because it don't work. Yeah, it's like he's using his penis. Somebody's like on the floor, not in a wheelchair. Somebody's too proud to be in a wheelchair. Person's doing some dark ass work. He like bring me the money, whatever. Okay, it's a this damn. This person got paid some money. It's blood on every single dollar for every single divine feminine that you did this to. You will pay with your soul. You will be silenced in hell. And we're gonna lose some war angels to the cavern of hell that the most high is preparing for you by way of judgment to read the scriptures and the promises to you about the mothers of the earth. Right? Day and night for all eternity. Them scriptures going to torment your soul and you will be silent in the grave. This is what the Most High is saying. It is written. How you how you going to hate on a woman and you come from a woman. You get your game from a woman. Tupac. Okay, listen. Okay. You wanted to play a game. You had time that day. So you just thought you was going to take all your masculine frustration. These men don't feel attractive. Did I not just say the high priestesses? Did I not just say divine feminine energy? Look how beautiful she is. These are beautiful women, aesthetically, internally, spiritually, mentally. For every single divine feminine that they took out and killed, the Most High is opening up a door spiritually for these spirits that are in the earth to get their justice. Do not forget about the people that have passed away due to black magic that were innocent, okay? That were married to these men, that loved these men. Ooh, we. Ooh we okay think it's a game you couldn't afford to play it you can't now now you can't afford to pay it who you gonna pay he did and it's three more coming after that and three more coming after that and three more coming after that okay that could be three people six people nine people could be uh 30 people 60 people 90 people could be 300 people 900 people what is it 900 i mean uh 600 people okay yeah could be 3000 66000 9000 people 30000 60000 90000 people this is a long ass wicked ass lineage that goes back since the beginning of time these men are nasty 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 little bastards Three of Wands, oh baby, they traveling now. They traveled outside of the country to get this done. Do you understand? Did I not just say three? You see the three of Wands, three Wands, three men traveling. Listen, I had a dream about a month ago about three of my exes, y'all. Three of them on a plane traveling. My son was right next to me. Looked up under the seat. There was a note up under the seat. It said, wake up. Mm -hmm. True story. Three old warlocks said from back in the day, hell, I don't know where they at, but something about that three, three of wands, these people travel. They got initiated into something. It's a brotherhood, whatever this is. It's about taking out the divine feminine energy, sexually frustrated men, men that had no libido. He gave them a libido, something about a deity attached to these men. Like they couldn't be resisted, honey. It's giving me, I come to suck your blood type of an energy, Dracula energy. You remember the old Dracula movies where the women would try to resist the man and, and they couldn't resist him. He was so handsome. Boy, he came to suck your blood. Five of swords, baby. It's nothing but conflict, fighting, chaos. They fighting for their lives. Clarify this energy, please, and thank you. 
who is this trying to tap in to see what's going on who is this person expose it uncloak it please and thank you the higher font so you got some other higher ups you know this guy got some got some team members teammates brothers all over the world this is them surprise y'all ain't the higher font we're the higher fonts get your punk ass up out of our seats you abuse the power look we come to call judgment down on you for every high priestess every divine feminine every divine masculine that you've taken out be that old eight to 80 dumb cripple and crazy whatever you did to every young girl every young boy whatever this is whatever you taught your sons Every single case is here in spiritual court. The Most High says judgment is here. Clarify what I just said, please, and thank you. Oh, they're texting, honey. They're corresponding. They're also astro projecting, okay? Eight of Wands is trying to locate where the truth is coming from. So they could be astro projecting over this message, trying to create some type of confusion. Mm, you're going to end up with a spiritual contusion. You might not return back to your body. Your wand already ain't wanding. And whatever that deity is, baby, it's a wrap. Yeah, look, these are fathers. King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer and Energy. These are fathers. These are psychic men. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Empress, October. Somebody's birthday is in October. They're a Libra. They're cloaking themselves in feminine energy. Empress energy. These men love to cloak themselves in divine feminine energy. They're jealous. They're jilted. They hate their mothers. Yeah, look, somebody's coming in sneaking. This is the energy that is here currently right now. Well, guess what? I call judgment on you. Seven of Swords, somebody's sneaking, trying to see who's telling the truth. They're, they're astral projecting over all of us, or at least they're trying. With whatever little bit of energy they have left, they're trying. Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive. Cloaking themselves in Empress energy, Libra energy. There's a man, King, Empress, Libra. Scorpio energy. Cancer and energy. These are these are men who are psychic, abusing their power. Clarify on cloak, please and thank you. I can't make it up. There's also a Virgo and or a Libra. Could be a feminine as well that somebody's using their energy to cloak themselves. Clarify this Empress. Who is this person? Your ass is being seen too. Look, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's pregnant. These men are trying to either do some type of witchcraft to get their penises to work, to try to impregnate new empresses is what I'm getting. There's a lot of duality here. There's a lot of duality here. Somebody is trying to impregnate so that they can continue on through the bloodline. Careful who you sleep with. The shit ain't working. Four swords. Somebody's ass is getting set down by spirit. Somebody's sick from doing astral projection. But you see the way this person is laying down and how their body is still? But guess what? Their spirit's not in their body. You see the swords? The same swords that they pulled are the same swords that they're going to land on, I just heard. Laying on the sword. Hmm. After three comes four, I just heard. Could be seeing four, four, four. Show me what I need to see. Who is this person? Yeah, everything's been exposed. It's over. The moon and the rebirth. I told you there's a cancer here. There's a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There's a Scorpio in October with Libra uh, energy. There's a... There's a cancer here. I just heard July 8th, July 4th. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of people that's about to go down. It's a long energy. There's some wicked ass women that are out here. Okay. But they were just being used. They never really had any power. These men don't give them power. They thought they were part of some coven. Okay. And that these were their brothers and they had access to power, but they ain't got no damn authority. The Most High says, I have authority. Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, look, they betray these women too. These are women in the coven. They don't give a damn about them. They just use them. They use them to use uh, feminine energy so that they get them to hate on other women. Any woman that hates another woman, your ass is stupid. There's something wrong with you. You could be missing like an X, a Y, or a Z, A, B, C chromosome. Something's wrong with you. How could another woman hate another woman when you are a woman? What is it that you're hating on? These women are puppets on a string. And they believe that they're getting some type of power, some type of rank. But these men are connected to one another. They're dedicated to one another. They don't tell these women everything. These women know a little bit, but they just need them for feminine energy to hate on other women. 
Jealousy is a very powerful energy. Yeah, these people started a game that they now can't afford to play and or pay for. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look, this shit is going back in reverse. I just heard devouring the hearts of women. Something about the heart. These people could have been into some dark stuff, y'all. Ain't no telling what the hell they were doing after death. They could have been, mm, they could have been partaking in cannibalism. Really intaking a uh, divine energy, eating the heart. Okay, what's the first thing that happens? You know, when somebody dies, they take their organs out. These people are high rank. They got a lot of money or they had and power. Now they can't buy their way to heaven, but they absolutely bought a one-way ticket to hell. Okay, well, listen, that's a whole nother reading. I might do that one next. <laughs> I might do that one next. Listen, way down, 10 of wands. Yeah, eight of cups. Where they running to? They're trying to travel to go where? Where is it that y'all going? Where is it that you're going? Hey, hey, you, where are you going? Where's your punk ass going? You can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere. Trying to heal, trying to go. Yeah, look. Mm -mm. They trying to go to a distance and do something about something about woo, woo, woo. This guy is gone. It's a wrap. You'll see. This is the message though. I didn't know it was going to be this lengthy. But I'm just glad that I am uh, sitting here doing my best to be obedient. The most I said to tell the message, it is what it is. You're going to start to see more in the public eye by way of people that you thought was high ranked and celebrities. And you got stupid ass people still out here worshiping people. Something's real significant about Cardi B. Okay, well, listen, keep worshiping these people. She's very beautiful. They silenced her ass, though. Remember in the beginning of the year, she was crying. Talking about how she didn't want to do songs because it was demonic. And all of a sudden, we didn't hear nothing else about it. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> Her handler. <laughs> Offset. Remember him? The Knight of Wands. The Penis King. She just couldn't leave his penis alone. Listen, she was crying and having a breakdown. All while Cat Williams was, you know, blowing the whistle. And everybody forgot about it. Everybody forgot about Jada. Everybody forgot about, like, how? People are still under a spell. How is it that people are still asleep with all this knowledge, with all of this know-how, with all of this technology? This is what the creator is saying. The creator is saying, number one, you cannot afford to be asleep. I'm giving you too much information so that you can awaken to the truth. If you're asleep right now, you're choosing to be asleep. Who would consciously choose not to see the truth? Yes, we know ignorance is bliss. Wasn't it, wasn't it blissful when we didn't know the truth and we couldn't see? But now that you know the truth, you're being held accountable. Okay. Shoot if you want to. <laughs> Shoot if you can. <laughs> but don't touch the anointed. And don't shoot the messengers. Whatever it is you feel you need to do. The heavens are taking the orders and we support you in the energy. If this resonated with you or if you just needed confirmation, maybe you pull cards too. Maybe you already know that you know you know you just tapped in. And guess what? I'm happy because more confirmation that we get is beautiful. You might pick up on certain parts of the story that maybe I can't see. And maybe it's just one piece to the puzzle on a larger scheme of things because that's what the collective is to collectively use your gifts for the greater good of humanity so that we come together like this. Okay. There's so many times that I see people in my soul tribe and I'm uploading a video and I'm like, yo, I just channeled that message. I just channeled that message. Like what? <laughs> I'm like, wow. But that person will pick up on certain things that I couldn't see. Okay. Nevertheless, if you want to donate, be obedient. If you don't, that's fine. I love you. It's not required, but it is appreciated. You just want to send me love and light, baby. I appreciate that too. I send it right back to you. May the most high be pleased with whatever your endeavors and or your current intentions by way of investments are in the earth. By way of you validating yourself. May the most high forever be pleased with you. And so it is. And so it will be. I love you. I'll see you soon. Peace be with you.